Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and retirement worth having. What we know as people reach their 50s is that typically they visit a doctor and have sort of an overall check. It's more expansive, it's more explorative, but it is totally only and singularly their right to do it. Often within that situation is taking a stool sample. But again, in that moment of time, the individual has allowed a medical practitioner of his choice or her choice to literally sample what's going on in the bowels to make sure that everything is functioning and that there's no cancer running around there or whatever the hell else they're checking for. But in America, we know the rules. At no time do you have the right to take someone's urine sample or take someone's bowel movement to any place you feel like it. It's not yours. Technically, it's fecal matter, so it has to be disposed of in a certain way. Additionally, it has biomechanics, or what should I say, uh, biology involved in it, and I forget the word that they talk about it. Therefore, it is never yours to sample. We have foreign students that come from foreign places that like to throw fireworks off the tallest apartment complexes, practically on top of cars. Now, how wise do you think it is to have a firecracker exploding near someone's parked car. Not really wise. But we also have the concerns of how high-rise these buildings are on a collegiate campus. If it was me, I'd be tearing some of these older buildings down. I'd be making sure that we have a stable skyline. In other words, that no company can out-tower any other. There are cities that put those ordinance in place to make sure that people are not ruined by a lot of things that come with those things. We all remember the beginning of one of the Lethal Weapon films, and we don't have to say anything else for those of us of that generation and who liked Danny Glover and who could tolerate Mike Mel Gibson at that time before he totally went mental, according to the online tabloids, of course. But in life, we also know that people do have breakdowns. They do have discord within family, and we all know the Alec Baldwin story. But when we talk about these things, I might have gotten the wrong Baldwin, brother. Who the fuck knows? But what I'm saying to you is, in life, we are singly, solely responsible for our own biology, our own cellular health. When I talk about cellular health, I come about that way from the concept of biohacking. Biohacking is using an all-natural product that has been wholly tested, fully accepted around the globe to help your cells to regenerate to help you to sort of slow down, in theory, the decomposition process of a body. There is no proof that we can say that it will cure or prevent any type of illness. But what we do know is that people who approach the concept of science with an open mind and an open heart, that they actually take a product sometimes and sample it for three months and discover that different positive things start to happen for their biology, their being, their wellness. And openly, that is how people typically go about getting things that are over the counter or under the counter or around the counter or whatever the hell you call it. When we visit an event and we learn about information, we gain access to new sciences, new technology, and we make a decision.